I've got this lemon tree in the backyard and it's a prolific producer of lemons every year. It's just loaded with lemons and our family loves it. So my sister is considering purchasing a new house and she was talking about buying a lemon tree in the hopes that it would be as good as the one in our backyard. But she doesn't have to do that and that's because if you know how to take cuttings from a tree, you can essentially clone the tree and have an exact copy of it within a few years. So let me show you how to take cuttings from this tree. It's fairly simple to do and I've done it the wrong way enough times to show you the right way. The first step is to get some dirt, but it can't be ordinary dirt. It has to be a special blend. The most important part of this dirt mix is to keep it light and airy, which might sound difficult, but once you know the trick, it's easier than you think. For my mix, I'm using garden soil. That's my dirt base. And this recipe goes one part garden soil, one part perlite. And to make it easier for you, I'm basically just taking one handful of garden soil and then I'm just taking one handful of perlite and I'm mixing it in a container. So I've added a little bit of water to this and I'm just finished mixing this up. Now I've got my soil ready to go. Once we've got our soil mix, it's time to work on our planter. You can purchase a pot or you can just make one from trash. I've got a metal one right here as well as a couple plastic buckets, aka food containers. Both of these will work just fine. There is a trick to making the perfect container. You need to drill the hole slightly above the bottom. This is done to keep a small reservoir of water in the container at all times. When you're trying to root cuttings, the soil has to be damp. If your soil dries out for whatever reasons, the roots won't grow. Any growth you might have may die so it's very important to keep the soil hydrated at all times. In order to promote root growth, you need a dark place and that's what the dirt is for. I tried doing this with cups of water like you would a herb cutting, it didn't work at all. In order to stimulate root growth, the cuttings actually have to be in a dark place, so use dirt. And make sure your dirt mix is light and airy. This will make it easier for the roots to grow and it will also make it easier to remove the cuttings to pop them up individually later on. So now that our prep is over, we can work on getting some cuttings. I took this branch off the lemon tree and normally you wouldn't want to do this. I wanted to do it to make it easier for me to film. So when you're taking your cuttings, take them directly off the tree. The tree will thank you. When you're selecting cuttings, you want to make sure you only select green branches and between the length of four to six inches long. Here, I took a branch and I can probably get two cuttings out of that. Here's another one and I'm going to snip this off as well. Now this is very important, so follow these steps precisely you want to remove all the leaves except the last two leaves. So here I am removing the leaves and I'm going to take my knife and cut this off. This knife came from my kitchen and it's a clean cutting surface. It's also very, very sharp. It's important you use a sharp instrument when you're taking your cuttings. This is why I chose my kitchen knife. If you use a dirty knife, you have the potential to infect the area that you're cutting and you won't get any root development. Right here I'm shaping the leaves. The first is a diamond cut or a pointed cut which is for aesthetics and the second cut is a straight across which isn't as pretty but it does the same thing. You need to shape the last two leaves to limit evaporation. Once you've done so, toss your cutting into a bucket of water and move on to your next cutting. So here's the other green twig and I've already removed the leaves and shaped the last two leaves. When you're making your cuts, you want to cut to the nearest node. What do I mean by this? Every point where you remove the leaf is a node and that is where you have potential for new growth. So you always want to cut on that node like I've done right here and I'm tossing it into the bucket of water and moving on to my next cutting. So step by step, let's do this. We're gonna remove all the leaves except the last two. We're gonna take our last two leaves and with a pair of scissors, we're going to shape or trim them. 
I personally like the pointed cut. From here, we're going to take a sharp knife and we're going to cut to the nearest node, making sure that we have roughly four to six inches to work with. So this is really interesting. This is a piece of the branch that I taken off the tree. And as you can see right here, this section um, is the branch that has died off. And right here, you can see new growth at the nearest node. This is what I'm talking about. Every point where a leaf was growing, you will have the potential for new growth. So I'm gonna snip all this off and take cuttings from this section here. Hopefully I'll have some really good growth from these cuttings. Now this piece is a little too small. It's not gonna meet our uh, four to six inch requirement. So I'm gonna put that to the side. I think I can get two pieces off of this one. I'm gonna use my knife and just clip that off. Again, clipping that section off. And I'm going to repeat the steps as before, which is remove the leaves, trim the last two leaves, yada, yada, yada. You know what happens here. When you go to pot these up, you'll want to grab some rooting hormone. This is available at any of the home centers or any uh, nursery. Basically, it's just this little powder that promotes root development. Take the cutting, dip it in the powder, aka the root hormone, and then prepare your hole. I like to use the end of this uh, the sharpie marker, but you could use the uh, drill bit as shown here or even a chopstick. Uh, the reason why you want to use or you want to prepare the hole is because if you just push the root into the dirt, uh, you have a chance of knocking out all that powder and it's just a loss. So you want to prepare each hole before you plant. All right, now we're on the final assembly. Uh, we're going to grab a uh, clear plastic bag. In this case, it's just a Ziploc bag and I'm going to place it over the container and then rubber band the bottom of it. Uh, this is to create a little greenhouse environment. Um, the warmer it is, the better chance you have at getting roots to develop. From here, I'm gonna take this pot inside and I'm gonna put it on a windowsill that has morning light. Um, if you're not sure what window has morning light, wake up early in the morning and just look through all your windows, whichever one has morning light pouring through it, that's the one you wanna put this plant on. So there you have it. This is my step-by-step -step method for taking cuttings from a lemon tree. I hope it's helpful. If you know of any easier methods for cloning citrus, please let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you guys in the next video.